Welcome to Banshee Boat, and this week we have an awesome countdown for you. Seven impressive watercrafts. Stick around. Woo! Banshee Boat, baby! Close. Banshee Boat for everything boating. These maneuvers could be dangerous if not operating the boat properly. Do so at your own risk. Make sure to always have boarding safety equipment, pleasure craft license on board, and always wear your PFD. Be conscious of those around you. Respect the shared water weight. Remember, never drink alcohol on boat. Always play safe on the water. Welcome back. Hope you had a great week. Let's get started. Seven impressive watercrafts. Here we go. Number one, the jet ski. The jet ski gets its name from you guessed it, because it's powered by a high-speed water jet engine. Kawasaki released the first mass-production jet ski in 1978. The inventor of the jet ski, Clayton Jacobson, loved riding dirt bikes as a stress reliever. Because the ground wasn't so forgiving, he came up with the idea for the PWC. God bless you, Clayton Jacobson, you son of a bitch. Today they can reach speeds of up to 70 miles an hour or faster. Jet skis are an iconic symbol of badassery and everybody wants one. Number 2. Next we have one of the most insane vehicles that I've ever seen. The hovercraft. More specifically, the LCAC. With a cost of about 27 million, this air cushioned vehicle literally hauls ass. With a payload capacity of 60 tons and a max speed of 70 miles per hour, this thing delivers Hummers, tanks, to the beach and uses about 1,000 gallons of gasoline per hour. Number three, the Sea Breacher. Cue the Jaws theme music. If it looks awesome, it's because it is. This looks like some James Bond shit right here. The Sea Breacher is a semi-submersible two-seater personal watercraft. Can I actually jump out of the water like that? This thing's got 260 horsepower and can travel up to 47 knots. With speeds like that, this thing can out swim a shark. If you ever wish you were a dolphin, well, <laughs> say no more. For just 80 grand, you can fulfill your weird ass dolphin fantasy. Number four, the swamp boat, otherwise known as the airboat. This is a flat bottom watercraft and powered by an automotive or aircraft like engine. This baby enters territory you probably shouldn't venture into without heavy deed. I'm talking 30% deed. They're commonly used for fishing, hunting, and eco tourism. We're talking wetlands, marsh, and muskeg. Airboats are the go-to when tackling weedy areas because they don't have an underwater propeller. No tangles. Tangle free. This is Crocodile Dundee's ride. If you're cruising in one of these, you're probably hitting the bog, not the beach. Number five. The river bus. Three, three, two, two, five, five, five. You, you can, can take, take the, the river bus, bus for a ride. ride. This, this is where the wheels and water collide. You can see this pretzel on, on the seaside. Side. This is an efficient watercraft design right here. It sits as many people as a regular bus can and goes easily on land and sea. From bus to barge, this vessel is heat making bridges obsolete. Poor bridge. Past its prime, this bridge. We got the river bus now, we don't need no bridge. Number six. For this one, we're going underwater. Their stealth acoustic quieting makes it difficult for their enemies to even detect their presence. The sub is a deep sea ninja worthy of the list. The sub simply makes the list for the adrenaline that pumps through your veins as you're playing Battleship in elementary school, or sync sub on your 90s PC, or watching DAS boot with your dad. Submarines are capable of launching ballistic missiles and warheads. What more do you want? Number seven. 
Now let's venture to the beautiful, majestic, powerful Niagara Falls. Let's take a deeper look past the water and into the mist. And there she is, the maid of the mist. The journey begins here at the dock where the passengers board. The maid delivers her patrons into the mist and then safely back out again. The maid of the mist made the list because she's just a bad bitch. You go, girl. The maid of the mist is one of my personal favorites because she is a bad bitch. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other impressive watercrafts that I missed on this list. See you next time. Happy boating. If you enjoyed the video, check out one of the Amazon links below because there's everything there. Everything for boats and even if you don't even buy something for boats, helps helps our channel out a little bit. And uh, then we can make more awesome videos. So make sure you subscribe right down there. And that really lets us know that you care. Oh my God. You know, you got a Johnson or an Avenrude or even a Mercury. I'm a fan of any kind of boat engine. So make sure you subscribe right down there. We're gonna talk about boats boat engines, and just really awesome stuff. Pretty much from now until the end of time. This is Banshee Boat, and today we're going on a rip. Some great stuff. We're gonna do some drone shots, new lakes. We're gonna, we are only striving to get 4K shots. I'm gonna try and get the best sound and the best video in every single video to come and make it better and better every single video that I make. So hopefully you subscribe right down there because every video that comes out, you are gonna be happy with. Check out one of these other fantastic videos. You won't be disappointed.